Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Battle Brothers. We are to intercept that supply caravan right there. So without further ado, they've got many footmen, some billmen and a few arbalesters. We can tailor our force to meet our needs over here. I think we'll switch out Bertram for Balon over there. Just because we need more archer power. That feels good. We've got Gunnar over there, who is now a veteran brother and able to bash everyone's skull. We've got some trade goods that we were sadly not quite able to sell. I will, however, make sure that all people in our front line have bandages. Or at least, you know, access to bandages. Sadly, it doesn't seem like we can switch out the dog for bandages, which kind of feels like a weird thing to me. Like, you should be able to use bandages. And same for Casimir, he can't use his bandages with his sar sergeant sash. Feels a bit odd. But oh well. Everyone has bandages on them at least. I might just give Firefine an extra pair to clear up a little bit of inventory because we have a lot of wolf pelts that I wanted to sell, ideally. Sadly, we were not quite able to. Balon, I guess you can have some in reserve as well. And you know what? Since we are not going to be able to sell our stuff right away, I think we'll just... You know, free up some inventory space because I am a terrible hoarder. There we go. Get it down to 47. I don't think we'll reach more, but you know... It never hurts to stack up on a couple of extra things. Yeah, you're not gonna reach your fatigue anyway. Uh, as for Gunnar, you're already carrying enough. Your fatigue isn't great, so... We're just gonna leave it at that for you. Uh, BVS, you've got a male hauberk. Excellent. Bertram is wearing a male shirt, as he should. Probably should have saved the coif. Or rather, the... Uh, yeah, that reinforced quaff thing that we sold earlier. Probably could have given it to BVS and then given Bertram something, but... Oh well, BVS has got his battle forged, so he benefits more from the Red Viper's Predator Crown. Right, planning aside, I think we are good to go. Many footmen and some billmen. And a few arbalesters. Let's do this! Aye. One of them's got a heavy crossbow. Not a fan. But, with our amazing archer, Super Sarge, we do get a hit on him. He's got an injured shoulder. And a pierced chest. By the look of things. They have a good position, but so... Little does that matter, and I think we'll be fine. We will have to be a bit careful with our second line as we go to charge some of these gung-ho people. Right, Eckhart. Hold your turn. Casimir. Engage the Billman. Stab him in his juicy bits. Hold our back row for now. That's obviously a place for fire fan. Rad, go over here and tickle the billman if you can. Magnus, just tie him down, start killing. Hubert's gonna go over here and help Firefan get an extra chance to hit over there, because he will have them surrounded. That dude is not gonna be a problem for us. Ooh. Here's the thing, I could move BVS into range, but those billmen would probably have him for lunch. What I'll do is I'll move you over here, that clears your shot, and he basically gets killed immediately. He is standing, but barely. And he gets a nice fractured hand over there. Didn't think he'd need that. You know, what's a hand useful for anyway? Gotta hand it to him, he's looking a lot better now. <laughs> All the terrible puns. Alright, let's try and shoot the Arbalester with Super Sarge. Because he is our best shot. 
and by god, does he deliver. We'll try and get an aim shot on that Arbalester, and he goes down as well. Like a sack of potatoes. We finish his friend over there. They're not looking so good anymore. No, sir. They're looking quite hurt, one could say. We put two of them down. He will not be able to touch Firefan at all. That guy's fleeing, so is that Billman. They're already looking quite shaken and they don't have a um battle. They don't have a banner, dude. They don't have a standard bearer. There we go. I can English. So they will have no chance to recuperate their uh, lost morale. Speaking of lost morale, they are going down. One of them left over here. Ooh, he's got a fractured hand. Again, there's an interesting correlation between the type of injuries and the weapon. Which makes sense, but I'm kind of shocked it took me this long to notice. We're gonna place Sir Eckert right there so he can do staggers and just slash all the people. Because why not? Let's go! Kill them all! Uh, let's see, Gunner, you can't really do anything. That's yeah, fine. Just held your turn to see if we could maybe get you in a better position. That's fine. Super Sarge, you do have a dagger now. I'm not really particularly tempted to use a dagger over a bow. So, sorry about that. We'll just try and get some trick shots in with our archers, I suppose. We do hit that Kiteman with quite a bit of damage. Not bad at all. Oh, Sir Ecker took a minor hit there. No injuries or anything, so nothing to really worry about there. Try and finish him off. We do nearly put him down. Get a slash into him. He's probably going to die as soon as Eckert gets his AoE off. I was trying to get Firefine over there so he could do a diagonal attack, but... Sadly, that guy was being a little rude. It's fine, we can stab him. That guy goes down, actually. Very nice. Yeah, we're holding. We're holding very well, in fact. I'm quite pleased. We'll try and kill that Billman. We smash his hand, as we seem to be doing all the time. You could just keep overwhelming him. Makes it very hard for him to hit anyone. We'll get some arrow fire raining into him. I think we're just gonna send Bertram around over here. You can keep trying to shoot him. Doesn't really work, but that's no problem for us. There we go. Heads are rolling. Oh yeah, forgot about you. That's a very foolish thing of me. Jesus Christ. They're getting very lucky. That sucks. But then again, you know, we've pretty much won this, so... We'll let them have their petty victories. For they are really, really petty. It's pretty obvious who will be dead here soon and who won't be. There we go. That gets another one of them to run. Who then happens to catch an arrow? It's a real shame, isn't it, how that goes? You think about fleeing and suddenly you're dead. There we go. Put some injuries into him. That'll make them regret being alive. Jesus Christ, you are one persistent little bugger. I just want to have Firefan kill both of you in the same swing. And it's just like, no. So futile. So useless. And yet they persist. You should really uh, reconsider that stance at some point. You know? 
you might end up dying due to an uh, unforeseen. Oh, for God's sake! There we go. Use. <laughs> Finally managed to put him down. There we go. We sneak an arrow past him, as we should. Start demolishing a shield because you know he doesn't need one. A little bit of a rotate over there. Guess why the hell not? And we smack him with a hammer. There we go. Uh, we're done. It's just donkeys. Bertram goes level up. Sweet. We get a couple of mushrooms, some money, some stuff, some weapons. Honestly, pretty lousy haul. Pretty lousy haul. It was hard fought, but you've managed to kill off the caravan guards. Unfortunately, the troop seems to have employed a scorched earth policy as they managed to raise every wagon before they could be captured. Unfortunately, they knew better than to let all this equipment fall into enemy hands. Sir Albrecht will be more than happy nonetheless. And they should help us in the upcoming battle. Bertram, talk to me. Oh yeah, you are a very good hybrid. Or at least you should be. We go for a bit of... No, I think we could go for a bit of resolve. Alternatively. Plus three melee defense, plus three range defense. You're an archer. At first and foremost. You're meant to not get hit. And I'm really tempted to go battle forge on you because of the heavy armor. It would also mean that you get less injuries in melee combat, so there you go. Enjoy that. Got ourselves a new male shirt to repair. Some more decent weaponry to sell. We'll even sell the shields. We've got some more flat tops with mail as well. Not bad. Got some pretty decent stuff out of that. We'll quickly head over to Norberg so we can sell some stuff. Hopefully you'll capture Felsheim back for us. Otherwise I'm going to be somewhat upset. That would be nice. Right. Do you have any... Good recruits? Uh, you probably have some, but not really looking for any right now. Buy some tools. Trade goods. Sell some pelts. Get us some of that money. Sell a bill hook because I know we'll have a couple more. Sell you, you, sell the shield because the shield's a crap. This is enough. Sell you all. And I believe there was a unique helmet here somewhere to buy. There's the reinforced milk cloth. It's only 10 extra armor, you know. Ooh, still can't purchase you, eh? Oh yeah, we were gonna wait until the uh, until the mission was done. Right, I remember. Because then we'd have a bit of a discount, probably. I think we'll sell the mail shirt because, well, why not? Weaponsmith, anything good? Oh yeah, the Battle Forge hammer. I remember thee. Thou art pretty decent. We got ourselves up to 80 tools. Not bad. We could have bought some tools in Felsheim before they conquered it. So that's a bit of a shame. But we'll head back to the war camp now with tales of our success. You were still attempting to capture Felsheim. That's good. We could use Felsheim on the map. You see now. It was ours. Right, report in the evening. There we go. Sir Albrecht informs you that tomorrow is the big day. You return to your tent for a good and earned rest. Tomorrow, battle awaits. How's the front line looking? Looking good. You should be repaired if we camp. You should be repaired if we camp. Battleforge is helping out there quite nicely. Out of 40 items, not bad. Uh, you're all looking fine. Ship shape and whatnot. Rear lines are uh, maybe a bit iffy. They should be okay. We'll take away the, uh, the weapons again. Not feeling too great, but you know. We'll get over it. I think our, our front line right now is good as it is. 
Although we could maybe switch in Neil instead of Hubert, especially since Neil is 500 XP away from uh, leveling up. James is roughly as good as Magnus. I think I will switch James in for Casimir, though. While our sergeant might be good, this is not the area where he excels. That will allow us to keep some more people happy as well. How are we looking? Just quickly double checking. All our armor is up to ship shape. Excellent. Frontline is looking very strong. They will have a lovely time in that noble battle that is to come. We have pretty much done everything we can to tip the odds in our favor here. I'm tempted to switch your hammer out for a greatsword because the greatsword can attack in a row of two. You know, 88 attack, you are going to be likely to hit people. It's fine. Right then. You watch as Sir Albrecht goes to his men and peppers them with lines of inspiration. Many you've heard before. In fact, these lines come from some scroll of old. A motivational speaker whose energy has been passed down through the generations. Casimir the Sergeant comes up to you chuckling. I know that Commander speaks empty rhetoric, yet I feel compelled to do a push-up or two anyway. Laughing, you, you tell the man to get back in line with the rest of the company. He barbs back. But Captain, will there be a speech? You push the man as he turns laughing. Onwards, brothers! There's a battle to win. And we'll be fighting lots of footmen, a few Zweihanders, many billmen, some arbalesses, a few standard bears, a few knights, and some war dogs. Ugh. We're fighting 26 to 33? Are you kidding me? Who the hell came up with these odds? Yeah, try and shoot him. He needs to... does not bode well. We're gonna get screwed over horribly by these numbers. Jesus. We've got mercenaries hiding out in the wazoo. Try and shoot that bill one. We are incredibly outnumbered here. It's not even funny anymore. I don't like being outnumbered. Not against nobles and mercenaries. Worst kind of enemy to fight. You can't shoot anyone right now. Excellent. I Who chose this battlefield? There's bushes and goddamn annoying things everywhere. This is like a battlefield for idiots. Why? Well, I know who's gonna die first. That bloody standard bearer right there. He needs to leave the fields of this earth, if you know what I'm saying. We're gonna make sure he does just that. Now, thankfully, it appears that some of them are dogs, quite literally. You know, they've got some dogs in their army. Probably gonna end up saving our lives and equalizing the odds a little bit. Especially if our resolve keeps going up from killing them. Which it will. Which is good. Now all that remains is just to slaughter everything that holds a banner up. Because that will seriously help us out. And this is just the worst bloody battlefield you could ever have chosen. Sir Albrecht, you are a moron. Why anyone would ever... Sure, it just happened to... It doesn't matter that he's got a shield or that there's someone standing in front of him or that there's a bush. Just... They've got magic guiding their shots, apparently. Right, well, Firefan, get into the thick of it. That's where you're best. If anyone can save the day, we know it's you. 
I hate whoever chose this battlefield. There we go. You don't need that hand anymore. He's gonna try and pull that bloody shot off again because he's a... Wow. I wanna hire some of their archers. Oh, that's it. That was a lucky salvo. Quite happy with how that went. Jesus Christ. Can they miss a shot sometimes? I would just like to ask that for my friends who are currently being shot at by everyone and everything moving. Good lord. We don't appear to have any friendly archers. Meanwhile, they've brought the whole town. Ah, oh, that's good. Hit him on the head for 126. Yeah, that'll mess a guy up. Good thing too. We need to be equalizing these alts quickly. Otherwise, we're dead. Why can we not see you? Oh, we can see you. Never mind. I shouldn't have moved then. I am a dummy. Yeah, their standard bearers are going to be busy rallying the troops. Or, you know, just take a swing at the guy who's netted. That's fair. You need to go and lie down. Hit him on the head for a hundred... Seventy-five, I'm gonna say? No. Uh, yeah, hundred seventy-five, not bad. He's not that thick-headed, thankfully. Har har har. Right. Looks like we have a fair amount of billmen, but the, the lack of archers in this composition. Like, who designed this army? You choose the wrong battlefield, you choose the wrong army composition, and you expect the Eagles of Fortune to carry you to victory. I need a raise. Seriously, pay me more money. This isn't worth all the worrying I currently have to do. There we go. Flatten some fools. We've also got Sir Wilhelm over there, because why the hell not? Let's add some nobles into the mix as well. There we go. They are dropping like the flies they are. Let's shove you back. Sir Albrecht, you cowardly craven fool! What are you doing? Get back into the fight! You've got a pierced hand, you're already out of it still. Uh, yeah, shoot him. Nice. He could do with an injury where there was none before. Good. The tide of battle is slowly turning in our favor. Although, the amount of cheese shots they keep pulling off is incredible. Try and finish that Billman off, we fail. Need to kill that standard bearer. But there's a bush in the way, so we can't even see him. God damn it. Alright then. We're hanging on by a thread. I think you could do with a bit of bleeding, mate. Oh yeah, you're gonna dive away because he's craven. Uh -huh. Let's try and demolish the nobleman's shield. He doesn't need it. His ego will just take the blows. Lord knows his ego is impossible to miss. Let's get you a fractured hand, sir. Or a smashed hand. I think a smashed hand's even worse. So there we go. He has decided that, hey, running is a good idea. Well, that's good. I think we can help him with that, although... I'd rather focus on his cousin over there. Someone who decided that, hey, fighting is a good idea as well. You know. The wrong idea, basically. He 
he's allowed to make mistakes. We'll just punish him for it. Sir Albrecht is still dancing around the issue here. We missed that Arbalester because, I don't know, apparently it's impossible to hit. Oh, you won't get away that easily, Sunshine. Right, Super Sarge. Time to start pelting them. Which will eat up our fatigue, which will reduce his dodge by quite a bit. So it's risky. And again, we are starting to thin out their archers slowly. Oh, come on! That's the second time in a row! Piss off! Magical trick shot. BS. Right. Kill him! Come on! How hard is it to hit a single ar a single arrow? Apparently very hard. Although you wouldn't guess it looking at how many l shots they seem to be landing. <sighs> yeah, you just use your turns of rallying. We'll see you left to rally when I kill you all! <laughs> Stupid no woman. I think they're all good. Mark my words, this house will fall. I will bury it myself if I have to. We've got a noble v noble up in the north. That is looking good. Oh, you still have a shield. I d How much shield damage do you do? 28! I really doubt that your shield is going to be able to stand up to 56 worth of damage, my lord. There we go, fracture him a little. There we go. He's a very fragile soul. He's been crumbling quite handily. Uh, what do we do over here? I think we'll just... Neil, you are injured though. You've got a uh, injured shoulder. I think we're gonna pull you back. We'll let Magnus do the charging into that mercenary. You can just keep smacking him. He's gonna make a run for it and die. Predictably. Super Sarge. Help that area. They are taking more shots at him, which is bad. Although they should be distracted from firing at us for a minute. Which would be nice. Yeah, the, uh, the arrow rain seems to have stopped for a bit. Which is good, we'll add some more insults to injury. Where there was already injury, we will just add more injury. There we go, we finally put him down. And we snipe that Arbalester. Death is starting to happen. The numbers are tilting heavily in our favor now. And his shield's gone. It's about bloody time too. Let's introduce him to our big Warhammer. I think that seems like a great idea. Anything else? Gunnar! You need the high ground, not that other pesky fool. We'll get to smacking people. Uh, Neil Griffin, yeah, just keep going around there for now. Sir Eckhart. His foot's a little worse for wear. This is nice. Not that he was gonna be able to run. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to take his helmet. I would love to, don't get me wrong. But, you know. We're kind of in a fierce melee right now. James is not having a good day. He's just been unable to smack the Arbalester where it hurts. There we go. Much better. Gerhardt's in a bit of trouble there. He's got a cut Achilles tendon as well. 
rain some more death over there. Well, hello. You are brave, mercenary. You'll also be pretty dead soon. If I have anything to say about it, at least. Fire fan. Yeah. That was never in any question. Uh, who do we shoot? That's a valid question. I think we'll just move up quickly because, well, there's no one we can safely pop because of all these bloody bushes. Which, you know, is a bit of a problem. I would love to shoot you with your injured shoulder. I think we'll take a move over here and then shoot him, which fails. Bushes are being very annoying right now. People are gunning for the knight over there. Predictable, because, you know, he is a big jerk. Probably a bounty on his head as well. Whoever kills him gets an extra ration of rum. Or whatever they choose to drink. Whatever their poison is. Oh, we hit him in the body. We got his helmet, I believe. I don't think we even damaged it. Neil's just gonna go defensive up there. Try and help out in a passive way. I'll rotate you. Kill him. Excellent job. Sir Albrecht is like, no, he's mine. Doesn't work like that, sir. It doesn't work like that. James! Exhausted. Fair enough. Also, Sir Eckhart just claimed the life of another nobleman. He ought to feel pretty good about that. Yes, sir, indeed. I think we're just gonna hold Gerhard back now because, well, he's injured. Try and get a shot in there. It doesn't do anything. He's gonna run for it. Which is why we've got Neil there. We well, you know. I'll pretend like that was my plan all along. I said it out loud, didn't I? I mean, yes, that was my plan all along, obviously! I'm a great commander. We're just getting t terrible vision here, as in we don't get anything. Bertram is out of arrows! That's fine. You've served as well. Fire fan! That is gonna hurt. Oh, you bloody kill stealer. He was mine! That one was mine as well, you bastard! I'll put you in the ground for that! God. They're all glory hogging now. We've won the battle for them and they steal all the glory. Or at least they try. They bloody well try. Come on. Let's give them something to worry about. That's gonna take a while for him to die. It's a shame. Let's get the orange all the way over there. It doesn't really matter. He's gonna shield up and nothing else. Interesting. Uh, Gerhard, I'm just gonna keep you there. You're done fighting for today. Super Sarge has run out of arrows. I just wanted him to equip his arrows as if it was a bow. Like, yeah, just throw them at him. No. No, that doesn't work. Even if I would like to now. That seems like a funny idea. Just tossing arrows like the javelins. Silly people. Let's see, Bertram! Rotate, and then too tired to do anything. Of course! Oh, come on! Come on! This pisses me off to no end. It, again, it's like, yeah, we're superfluous now, you don't get any of that loot. It's basically a giant screw you. This is what you could have had, player. But no.
You know that XP you were hoping to get? Yeah, screw you. Basically. Really annoying. Hopefully they'll do something about that at some point in this game. You know, like... Even if it's just reduced experience for the kills that your allies get. Which also could kind of be exploitable, but at the same time... Right now you just get a giant F U, a giant middle finger. That's no fun either. Quite literally. He just gets screwed out of experience and loot. Why? Oh, I don't know, because the AI doesn't have an arbitrary unit limit that they can deploy. Yeah. Doesn't sound like fun now, does it? We'll do a kill tally at the end just to see how valuable we were to the uh, to the AI. I'm quite curious to see how many we got compared to them. Because obviously, you know, they can wield a larger force, but... I feel like we did a fair amount of killing ourselves. Hello there. Mr. Nobleman. Sir Donbot. The Fat. I don't know if he's actually fat, I just want to call him the Fat. There's a fat chance he's gonna be walking away alive. <sighs> Best way to get over any gripes we might have with the AI. By like screwing us over. He's just gonna kite, quite literally. With his kite shield. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho ho. Uh, yeah, Super Sarge. Oh, you d Yeah. Oh well. I think there's one guy left running away. He's gonna get away anytime soon, so... Not really that concerned about catching him. Yeah, he's gone. Just this guy now. Yep, AI gets him again! So we got 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 17 out of like 33. We did way more than the AI. Especially when you take into account that we only have 12 men. And yet we get screwed out of a ton of loot. Oh well. We got a heavy crossbow, we got ourselves another full helm. No decorations on it, sadly, but that is the way things go. A lot more weapons to sell. No deaths. A crap ton of damage done on both Sir Eckhart and Firefan. Ho oh ho. Yeah, real nice. A lot of experience. I think only Neil got below 300 experience. Well, and Super Sergeant Gerhard. Not bad. Rough fight, though. A wounded man begs at your feet. You can't tell if he's one of Sir Albrecht's or an enemy. Suddenly, a spearhead jets in and pierces the man through the head, leaving him permanently side-eyed. You look over to see the killer tenting his hands atop the spear with an accomplished look on his face. He points a finger. You're that cell sword, right? Sir Albrecht told me to tell you that you should head on back to your employer. That sound right to you? You nod. A groan rises from the pile of corpses. The man picks his spear back up, catching it in his other hand. Well, back to it. Alright then. Back to white till we go, get paid. So we can buy ourselves an awesome helmet. A lot of, a lot of death happened over there. Let's repair all the things. So we can get a crap ton of money. New full helm, really happy about that. There we go. We keep tallying up the kill count for our nobles. Sir Eckhart has vanquished Sir Wilhelm. Well done. Gerhard actually got a level up out of that. Uh, we'll go attack and defense, hell yeah. You're getting really good, Sir... Uh, sir Gerhard? Wow, calm down there. You are no noble, son of mine. What else should we get you? Probably like Backstabber? You are already quite amazing at defense. Underdog is going to help out really well there as well. Do we have a male Harbor to give you? No, we don't. But there we go. Armor you up just in case we do encounter something, which I heavily doubt. 
Got some injuries in the back row, which we will be, uh, or rather in our front row, which we will be rotating out. That, that, there we go. Got ourselves a pretty decent line here now. Looking good. Looking rather good. We'll head back up to Whitesall, then we'll go and get that unique, and then we'll probably end the episode because, well. Oh. Oh dear. It's that same event from earlier. You stare up at the forest canopy, watching what angles the light beams are coming in at. While getting your bearings, Hubert comes by looking rather distraught. Sir, you ought to come see this. You nod and tell him to lead the way. He brings you to a clearing, though not much about it is clear. Legs. Legs everywhere. Some severed at the ankle, some at the thigh, never everywhere else in between. They have no place, no order. They're just about. Some by themselves and others all twisted up in bunches. Some thrown into the trees where the rest limp... While the, where they rest limply over branches or upside down by their feet. One hangs from a spit. The calf burned black as though someone had run off, leaving it there over a fire that had long since died. The brother that found the disgusting sight comes to stand next to you. No body, sir. Just eggs. You turn to look at the mercenary, but all he can do is shrug. We have not found a, a single body, sir. I mean, the top half, anyway. You think it means anything? I mean, who would do that? Remove someone's legs and take off with the rest? You shake your head in disbelief. Having seen enough, and having no answer for such questions, you quickly usher the rest of the men away from the clearing and back to marching. We've seen that one a while back. We encountered it right over there, but I reckon. Anyway, Brown Raymond van Hedden is found in his garden, telling jokes to a group of women. You break into their group, soaked in blood, covered in mud. The women gasp and step away. Baron Raymond van Hedden laughs. Ah, the sellsword returns. You're such a ladies' man, mercenary. I wish I could offer one of these fine women to you, but I'm afraid their fathers would have their nuts if you even so much as touched one of them. One of the ladies runs a hand along her bosom. He can touch me if he likes. Baron Raymond von Hedden laughs again. Oh dear, haven't you already gotten enough men in trouble? Run along, ladies, and tell one of my men to fetch a satchel of 4,540 crowns. Oh, during camp. You're in your tent when Sir Eckert makes an entrance. He speaks bluntly. Nobles be talking. Big fancy tent set up yonder, and they're in there. Putting your quill pen down, you respond. Just talking? The mercenary shrugs. It's quiet. So they're either talking or killing one another real quiet like. You set up, you get up and step aside. A brisk air hits you. And on it is the scent of spices and flavors. Looking upwind, you spot the tent. Cooks and chefs are hurrying about with orders of food and other makings. Servants carry platters of meats, vegetables and fruits. An opulent tent, black with gold embroidering, houses the nobles. Bannermen stand aside, or stand outside. They take no part in the festivities. They're mostly playing cards while occasionally glancing at one another. Some are bondage with blood spots linens. One man stands on crutches with a haggard, half-cocked knee. You ask Sir Eckard what the news is. He nods towards the scene. Well, they rolled up about an hour ago while you were checking the maps. We didn't want to bother, yeah, but, well, they seemed intent on staying, so, you know. You get a good look at the noble tent. Through its openings, you can see that a faint glisten of crowned heads passing back and forth. Sir Eckard spits and asks, Well, who do you think won the war? You hawk a loogie, spit. Shake your head, or shake your head. Who gives a shite? All that matters to you is that peace means fewer contracts. Perhaps now would be a good time to put up the sword and enjoy crowns. Or maybe say to hell with all that and that sentimental crap, and just keep pressing forward, leading the company to even greater things. 
I also got an achievement. Kingmaker! We have ended noble feud. I think that the Eagles of Fortune still have need for their commander. There we go. Let's see, what is in Whitehall? A bunch of crappy work. A bunch of crappy recruits no one cares about. They haven't seen war. They don't know nothing. Let's see. Tavern, anything? It does still mean that the ambition is still going on, but I think that was the official end to the noble war. What is this? Thief stole your lockbox. A thousand crowns, we need more. Forget it. How about this? A delivery to Undheim? Sure. I need more money though. Fifteen advance. I'll take that, I'm headed that way anyway. Looks like the noble war is indeed over. Felsheim remains in hostile hands. At the behest of House Hedin, the Eagles of Fortune confronted the armored ranks of the other houses. A seemingly insurmountable challenge. It was a hard fought struggle against opponents trained, disciplined, and well equipped. But in the end, you overcame the enemies of House Hedin and triumphed on its behalf. During the celebrations that follow, Sir Herman, one of the lesser members of House Hedin, suggests that you end the festivities early. Your men are getting too rowdy, and he's concerned they may take advantage of his family's hospitality. Walking off with the silver plate, or fighting with the staff. He notes that there has already been a broken window, and points towards some broken glass on the floor. You reply that although House Hedin was victorious, it is also at this point much weaker, and more vulnerable than ever. Now would be a foolish time to alienate friends. Or make new enemies. He takes your advice to heart, and the celebrations continue until dawn. The company gains renown. Whether they love us or hate us. Everyone knows the Eagles of Fortune now. So we are very friendly with House Hedin. Look at that. Felsheim. Cold relations after all this. We can still get some cheap tools here, though. So that's all that matters. A craven recruit and no interesting weapons. Peace has returned to these lands. They're very cold towards it, just like all the towns that weren't on our side during the war. Looks like we'll have a new ambition soon. There's always just one more job to do, isn't there? Oh come on, are you are you kidding me? I really wanted a hat! Looks like we have invested in the field by an equipment merchant. May the heavens have mercy on our souls. Because the bloody shop tenders don't have any for us. That does leave us significantly richer, though. Which I guess is a good silver lining. Yes, our finances are booming. I guess that is something. We'll be ending the episode here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a comment about how the nobles screwed us over by not selling us that helmet. How we are awesome for ending the Noble War and checking the first endgame crisis off our list. There's two more to go. Or we perish. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will catch you all next time. Until then, have a good one, folks.